Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. I just popped into the allotment just for half an hour today. Uh, really just to open the polytunnel up and give it a bit of air because it's uh, the wind's quite high today. And uh, yeah, so it's really, I, I had the door closed at uh, one end near the door at this end's open. Um, but now I've opened it up and it's just blowing a breeze through and just clearing all that hot stuffy air out. But I thought while I'm here, I'll harvest the shallots uh, and they're ready to harvest and I've just been like, mm, should I harvest them today or tomorrow sort of thing. But it's going to rain tomorrow, so uh, kind of the perfect time really to uh, get them harvested. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you the bed and uh, how we grew them and then I'll show you the yield at the end. I'm pretty pleased. So when I popped this strawberry bed in uh, last year, I thought, well, why don't I just pop some shallots down the centre? So that's what I did. And I also popped these three trees in because um, I thought, you know, the thing is with strawberries, they're not a particularly high value crop. Uh, so I thought, well, maybe I could grow something else uh, just to uh, bump up the yield from the bed. So I'm going to harvest them now. And I thought you might like to watch. So here's them all picked, and I've got to say, I'm, I'm very pleased with them. Um, they're not the biggest, obviously, but um, for overwintered shallots grown from sets, obviously, which split into multiple uh, smaller shallots, they're pretty good. Um, and obviously, they're not as big as the ones that I've grown from seed, the banana shallots, uh, which we'll be harvesting sometime in August. But I've got some little ones as well. These are, uh, are the ones that we'll probably use for pickling. But yeah, I'm happy. So as anybody knows who watches my videos, I like to grow all my uh, alliums from seed. Um, and it's really just these shallots now that uh, are the only thing that I'm growing from a set. So I'm wondering if anybody knows of a good seed um, seed variety uh, obviously everything comes from seed originally but what you know one that you can buy in the shops um, that you can save and then use over winter because um, uh, yeah I like just I love having the beds being used over winter and uh, it's just great to be able to just stick in find a little gap uh, in this case it was only a one, one foot gap um, because it wasn't that in that bed that I showed you that wasn't the only thing that we grew in there. We also grew elephant garlic and garlic, as well as all those shallots, as well as the strawberries, as well as the trees. So yeah, I love interplanting when it works, <laughs> when it doesn't work. Well, obviously, um, I don't love it quite so much. But uh, anyway, I'm learning. Hopefully you are too. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. 